Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be working in my daily journal, setting up the month of November 2021. I'm really excited. I can't believe the year's almost done, but I'm excited to set up November. I love November. I love the fall. So this is going to be a lot of fun to put together. Now, as always, I'm going to start by stamping November using my Tucker Alpha Stamps from Studio Calico. I've been using this alpha throughout the year, and I just love the boldness of this alpha stamp. And it has a filler if you want to use that to fill out your words or your months. But anyways, I like just the outline. I like the look of it, especially because I use my stamps to add color to my spread. Now, because I'm going for a fall look here, I decided to start with this beautiful stamp set from Studio Calico. It has some sweaters in there. It has some leaves. It's just such a cute stamp set. So I'm going to use it to stamp a few of those sweaters around my November. And I'm going to be stamping a lot of leaves and fun things from other stamp sets. But before I start adding the leaves and all that good stuff, I do want to stamp a few of those sweaters and bring in some color using the filler stamp as well. I love it when stamp sets have filler stamps because then I don't have to color things in myself and I can just basically stamp it in. So I decided to use an old Kelly Perky stamp that has a large acorn. I've never stamped this out. It's so big. It just never fit perfectly on a spread, but I thought this was the perfect spot for it. And I decided to stamp the bottom half of the acorn underneath November and the top half above November. And it fit nicely. It was the perfect spot for it. I'm so excited. I love using my stamps in my daily journal and setting it up because I, I get to use some stamps that I've never used before. But anyways, I grabbed a close to my heart stamp set. This is all about documenting the fall. It has a bunch of different leaves and different shapes. So I'm gonna use this to bring in some color to my spread. I go back and forth between different shades of like orange, almond, browns, yellows, and it's such a great stamp set to add color to my November. So that same stamp set from Close to My Heart had like dotted wind. It's so adorable and I thought, I think this is the perfect little stamp to complete my November and just basically stamp the wind next to my leaves as if my leaves are flying into November, if that makes sense. And it was so cute. I ended up not stamping the whole stamp just where I needed it basically. So I inked it up where I needed it, stamped it next to my leaves and I love how it turned out. It's the little things you guys, just stamping the dotted wind made a huge difference to my November. Now I'm almost done with my spread. I'm going to grab my pen, add a border to my layout, and then I'm going to outline my sweaters. I just felt like they needed to be outlined for some reason. So I'm going to use my pen for that. I will also grab some washi tape to bring in some more color, and then I call my spread done. Oh, and before I wrap up my title page, I did want to share the gray that I use to add my drop shadows and all that good stuff. I get asked about this all the time. This is the gray Tombow that I use uh, throughout my process, and I will have it linked in the description box for you, but it's the perfect shade of gray to add a drop shadow to your words or boxes. I'm going to grab my washi tape at this point and add some washi and call my November title page done. Thank you. 
Now let's move on to week 45. So week 45, I decided to draw out some sticky notes. I wanted to have fun a little bit. I haven't tried something like this and I decided I'm just gonna go for it and see how it turns out. So before I draw in my sticky notes, I'm going to stamp out week 45. I'll also grab like some leaf stamp sets to add a few leaves around it. I want to see if this is something I want to do next year, kind of, you know, draw out my own thing and do the whole bullet journal thing, or if I want to go back to being simple. At this point, this is a lot of fun and it is beautiful and I've been really enjoying drawing out my own spreads. But I think next year, um, I want to go back to simple and I want to keep things more memory keeping than bullet journaling, if that makes sense. And I'll let you in on this uh, in a few weeks and I'm gonna share what I'm gonna be using next year and all that good stuff. But for now, I thought I'm gonna play around with this and see if I like it. And I do recommend this all the time to try different things and find your style and find what you like and don't like. And for me, I think it's more of the simplicity and the journaling. So I might go back to just basically stamping the days of the week, maybe adding photos, maybe adding some stickers and things like that as I go. But anyways, at this point, I went ahead and grabbed my Feature Craft stamp set here. I always forget the name of the stamp set, but as always, I will have everything linked down below. And I use that stamp to add the days of the week. I will also stamp out the numbers. And now I'm gonna grab my pen and draw everything out. I already used my pencil to draw everything, so I'm literally just tracing everything. And like I said, this is like little sticky notes, papers hanging off, let's say a board or something. So I had fun with this. It turns out really, really cute. But yes, it was a lot of work, especially that I'm not perfect at drawing or doing spreads like this. This is new to me. So it took me longer than it should, but it's okay again. I'm trying new things. I grabbed some washi tape. I decided to add some washi to a few of these like sticky notes or papers. Thought it would make it look more like they're hanging off a board. And I do change my mind throughout because I'm gonna grab some of my stickers as well and I decide to switch out some of those washi tapes. But anyways, for now, I'm grabbing my Tombow markers, filling out some of these little uh, tidbits that I drew out, like pins and things like that. Also gonna grab my gray Tombow marker to add some drop shadowing, and then I will grab my stickers to add a few stickers here and there. So this sticker sheet, um, I think is from Crate Paper. It is beautiful and the colors are very nice and subtle. So I decide to use them to add some color to my sticky notes. So I end up adding like flowers, leaves, things like that. I'll even switch around my washi tape because the sticker sheet had little washi tapes that were cute and kind of changed up the colors on my spread. So I'm gonna end up switching out one of my washi tapes. Once I stick everything down, I'm gonna grab my gray Tombow marker again add some lines on my sticky notes and call the spread done. So cute, so adorable. I really enjoy putting this together, but again, I might go back to simple again just because of the time. I know I want to focus on my journaling and making them cute and adorable, and I think I can do that without the hassle of drawing everything out ahead of time. Now let's move on to week 46. So for week 46, I decide I'm gonna start with a label. I thought it would be fun to stamp the week in my label. I'll use that same stamp set from Feed Your Craft with the days of the week, and it had a little week stamp, so I ended up just using that stamp set again. Uh, once I stamp out week 46, I'm gonna start working on my week. So I decide to stamp the days of the week, and then I would use one of my close to my heart stamp sets that had a large sweater to stamp over each day. But I'm gonna mask off the day and that way it's gonna look like it's kind of hanging off of my sweater. 
uh, it's hard to explain, but you're going to see in a sec what I mean. So I end up just going through my label die cuts and grabbing a label, flipping it around because I can still use it, um, just stamping on the B side basically of that label. And I'm going to cover the day of the week and stamp the sweater over it. And it adds a nice little mask for my sweater and my day of the week. And I love how this turned out. Such a perfect stamp. It's so simple. Really literally just stamped the sweater on each day. I will change it up for the weekend and go with these rain boots just because I knew I couldn't stamp both sweaters next to each other. So the rain boots fit nicely and it kind of changes up the weekend for me. So to bring in a little bit of color, I decided to stamp a few leaves around my rain boots and I just thought it would be fun to kind of fill them out with some fall colors. Once I fill out my leaves, I will grab my Tombow markers to add color to my sweaters. And because these sweaters are striped, it's gonna look very subtle, really pretty. I'll even use, again, some fall colors and I really, really like the touch of, or the pop of color that comes off these sweaters once I fill them out with my Tombow markers. Oh, and by the way, I'm just trying to fill out that top space with some washi tape, and I even grab a sticker and add a word sticker there as well. But I always feel like this is the perfect kind of a notebook to use some washi tape. It brings in some color, and you can use up some of your washi tape as well. So as you can see, the colored sweaters look so adorable. I'm just going to kind of finish this up by adding some lines with my gray Tombow marker. I'll also grab my pen and add a border to my spread. It's all about the border, you guys. But I felt like I needed to kind of separate my days. So what I thought I would do is one of the stamps from the same stamp set from Close to My Heart had a title with some wavy lines on the bottom. And I didn't want the title, I just wanted the wavy lines. So what I decided to do was trim it off. I do this all the time. It's not gonna ruin your acrylic stamps. You can always put it back together if you wanted to when you come to stamp it. I just usually stick it back on my stamp block and it will look exactly the same. But again, I just want the lines. I'm okay with trimming it off and using it as I need it. So I just used it to separate my days of the week and called my layout done. Now let's move on to week 47. I drew out my lines. This is gonna be really, really simple. It's going to have the days of the week in the center, and on each side, I envision stamping all the leaves. It's gonna be simple because there's nothing outrageous about this. It's basically just stamping leaves and masking off the lines just to make sure they don't seep into the days of the week, if that makes sense. But I just stamped the days of the week using the stamp set from Kelly Perky. And then I grabbed another old Kelly Perky stamp set that was all about fall, and I'm gonna use that to stamp the leaves on the side. I'm gonna go back and forth between colors, between different leaves, just to fill out that space on the right and the left. So you're gonna see me going in between different colors and stamps the whole time, but it's gonna look really good. Now, one thing I wish I didn't do was 
after I was done, and you're going to see at the end of this video when I share the photos, I colored in the lines between the days of the week with this beautiful mustard yellow marker. And I felt like I didn't need that. I don't know why I added it. I think I felt like I wanted to bring in the days of the week with my colored leaves. But again, I do this all the time. It's not a big deal if there's something I don't really truly like about my spread because you know what, once I add my journaling and my stickers and my washi and all that good stuff, it's all going to come together and you're not even going to notice those lines, but you'll see the photos at the end of the video. I don't think I do it on camera. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking because this is basically uh, what I'm doing. I'm just stamping out my leaves. I'm going to fill out that space and it's going to look oh so beautiful. So when I was done stamping my leaves, I felt like I needed to darken it up a little bit. So I'm going to go with this uh, beautiful, I think it's called Sapphire Ink from Close to My Heart, to add a little bit of darkness to the sides of my spread. And man, did it make a difference. I love how it looked. I don't know why I don't do this more often, but I think it just made everything pop. And I just stamp it a few times here and there. So it's not really in your face, but it really added a nice color and touch to my spread. I'm gonna use my pen to add my lines to the side and to my days of the week. And I think I grabbed some, yes, I do. I grabbed some uh, number stickers to add the numbers to my days. And then I call week 47 done. So I want to start working on week 48. So I had drawn out, again, something on my own. I did some clipboards. Now, these are not my ideas, by the way. I get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest and YouTube and Instagram. But I saw a spread with uh, clipboards and I thought this was adorable. So I drew a few out. They are not perfect, but you guys know me. I don't look for perfection. And I'm going to use the clipboards to stamp out the days of the week and I'm gonna stamp uh, the numbers as well, grab my pen and draw everything out. So I'm gonna go over what I've already drawn in pencil. And this video would not be an authentic Hibba video if I didn't have some sort of boo-boo. And this time around, my boo-boo was totally forgot that there's two more days this month. So basically, I literally stopped recording at day 28. So I did my week, what is it, 48, and I forgot week 49, but it's okay, no big deal. I remembered this later. I'll go back into my daily journal and finish the last two days of the month, but on camera, I totally forgot about it, and we finish off everything at week 48. But anyways, going back to week 48, I used a stamp set from Feed Your Craft to stamp the little pencil house. I thought it was so adorable and it's perfect to add some color in that corner. So I filled it out with this really beautiful like pinkish, I think it's called papaya, I'm not sure. And I'm using it again to stamp this leaf, but I really didn't like how that leaf looked when I stamped it in the corner of my little clipboard. So I'm gonna cover it up. I'm gonna stamp instead a circle stamp that says feels so cozy on sticker paper. I'm gonna trim it out or punch it out and cover up that leaf that I did not like and it was so easy to do. And again, I wanted to remind you, it's not a big deal if you have a mistake, just try to fix it using sticker paper, 
covering it up, whatever the case is, you can figure it out. It's not a big deal. You don't have to start all over. Anyways, I used my stickers to add a little bit of more color to my clipboards. I erased my lines and now I'm gonna grab this beautiful subtle brown to add color to my clipboards. So the way I drew these was I drew the clipboards from the outside and then added paper in the inside. And I knew I wanted to color in the clipboards just to add more depth to them. And it made a huge difference. And I love this brown, it's very subtle. And then I'm gonna grab my gray marker again to add a drop shadow to my clipboards and lines to my papers that are stuck on the clipboards. Again, just the little things make a huge difference on your spread. So I can call week 48 done. Again, I have to work on week 49, but for now this is done. I'm just gonna grab my stickers, my tab stickers from Studio Calico to add the month of November to my title page. And then I call my layouts done. Don't forget, I will be adding all the links for everything I use down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.